The poster for the Western film The Good, Bad and Ugly presents the idea of the rule of thirds within the characters. There is a pyramid of three men which shows the rank in society. The two males in the background seem as almost to act as a double act, whereas the man in the foreground is portrayed as the most dominant character and therefore probably the main protagonist. The use of the earthy dull colours helps to distinguish the genre of the film as it reflects the dirt, mud and secluded desert-like locations that are usually included in Western films. The use of the red, orange and yellow resemble fire, which perhaps is the foreshadowing of what is to come and provokes the thought of danger within the audience as they look at the poster. This is also helped by the gun as it's pointing in the eye line of the main protagonist, reading us, letting us believe that the two are linked together and he is the main cause of corruption within the film. The expressions of the three faces of the men are stern, unposed and also the top left is slightly aggressive. This used to represent the characterisation of their roles in the film. All these elements help to add together to help the audience to reveal the western genre of film that is behind it. The poster for Casino Royale shows the main protagonist take over half the poster which shows that he is dominant and looks relaxed and in control of the situation even though he is holding a gun which therefore provokes danger and contradicts his formal attire and his stereotypically good looks. The use of his black and white tuxedo portrays the idea of a split personality, for example, his innocence versus his darkness side. The white title for Casino Royale presents the idea of purity and adds a sense of dramatic irony and contrast to the gun in his hand and the action surrounding him. The bold use of the two zeros is cleverly used to diagonally link to the seven, which is at the bottom of the title. This helps the audience to relate to the other films that have also been known as Bond films. The use of the three pictures down the right hand side shows a foreshadowing of what the audience can expect from the film. The action that's seen in the first and third pictures and the blossoming romance with a seductive female which is usually known as a bond girl in the second picture. Their, int their intimacy also helps to provoke this idea within the audience of a blossoming romance. The use of the grave represents the idea of decay as well as draining physical body. This links back to the use of the gun, perhaps it's used for a murder. These all adding together to distinguish the idea of the action that is behind the genre of the film. The poster for The Hangover that is seen here shows bland, dull and earthy colours that relate to the title of the film and how they appear to be feeling. The use of the, use of the random tiger, chicken and the baby in sunglasses adds a comical element to the film and it immediately reflects a stereotypical convention of the comedy genre. The use of the alcoholic be beverages that are set on the table links back to the title, suggesting the reasoning behind the random elements that are seen in the poster, such as the tiger and chicken. All three characters portray the idea of danger, as one of them has a broken hand, wearing a cast, a lost tooth and a beaten face. This adds a serious element and provokes danger in the audience, yet in a more comical way. The male standing up in the centre of the poster is seen to be the main protagonist as he, but also he challenges the conventions of the lead role of a male due to his unshaven, informal attire and scruffy looking clothing and appearance. The male sitting at the front of the poster looks dishevelled and materialistic due to his smart attire and watch. His slick back hair also helps to suggest this idea, yet as he's seen hugging a white pillow, this contrasts to his manly exterior as he is portrayed in a way that's seen in a childlike innocence. The man sitting down on the settee in the background looks stereotypically geeky due to his glasses and unfashionable clothes, which shows that he's more vulnerable, one in out of all three men in the poster. The title of the film, The Hangover, is in white, which adds a dramatic sense of irony as the title itself suggests innocence due to its colour, yet the actions that they have behind them and what is going on in the poster actually suggest a more darker humour. The poster itself and the film seems to be aimed towards a more male-dominated audience due to the, the roles that are played within the film and the characterisation of them all being male. Also, this is helped by the slogan, Some Guys Just Can't hang Handle Vegas. It reminds the audience of the genre of film also, as well as playing an idea that the, that is more dominated towards males. The next poster scene is a film noir called Scarlet Red. We immediately see the obvious connections to film noir as we see a femme fatale introduced who is wearing red which presents the idea of seductivity, yet she also looks playful due to her relaxed stance and her hand on her hip. 
The detective role is dressed in earthy colours which presents the idea that he is an honourable and truthful man. The misted figure at the top portrays the idea of the villain character who is in stereotypically used in film noirs due to his straight and stern expression as well as his eye line towards the name of the film. The use of the light blue colour at the bottom presents the idea of calmness, yet as it nears the suggested villain of the male on the right hand side, it becomes black which then shows the side of darkness which could be the foreshadowing of corruption. The use of the post-it note for the title adds a clever enigma code for the audience as it leads them to believe that this is something to do with the plot line and could possibly play a major role within the film. Therefore, the use of the characterisation within the poster and the three different stereotypical characters help to distinguish this genre of film. The next poster you can see for The Little Mermaid is shown for the genre of film of Disney and children films. The blue as a colour overall that overrules the poster presents the idea of calmness and wisdom and a heavenly feel. This immediately helps to reveal the genre of film. The title of the film, The Little Mermaid, is in yellow which presents the idea of joy, happiness and gives off a warming effect and arouses cheerfulness within the audience. The use of the mermaid's red hair and green tail helps to distinguish her as the main protagonist. The male beside her seen as prin is also seen as her Prince Charming, which shows and also portrays the idea of a stereotypical convention of Disney princess and children's films. The yellow and blue coloured fish connotates the idea of all things wonderful and due to the mixture of the both calmness and youthful and joyful colours that he's used to portray him. The castle and the treasure trunk add to the fantasy element, which you can see around the poster, which also reveals a stereotypical side to the genre, as all things seem to be magical. The use of the two contrasting characters that are looking down at the Little Mermaid at the top right and left hand corners um, show a bold contrast between the two, which show their importance within the film. The male at the left hand side has a white beard which represents purity and his use of his yellow spear and crown presents the idea of happiness that he perhaps wants to protect her innocence and her welfare, yet this very strongly contradicting the, the villain that is seen on the right hand side as she seems to be dressed and she's, her skin colour is in dark deep colours. The purple colour conveys the idea of mystery and magic, yet the black representing death and evil. Yet the use of the colouring of her purple skin adds a more comical and light-hearted element to the villain of the film. All in all, this helps to roll together into one to create a stereotypical child's film. The next post you can see is for The Notebook, which is a romantic comedy. The blue background presents the idea of a majestic calmness which links to the characters due to their closeness of their bodies. This therefore shows intimacy as as you can see, for example, her hand on his face and the way that he is supporting her back romantically. Yet, their intimacy contrasts to the rain and clouds that are behind them, showing the idea that there is more to their relationship than meets the eye at first, but also suggesting the idea that there is a deep desire within their relationship and they will let nothing get in the way of them being together. The title of the film which and its fonts and colours represent which represent the idea of an actual notebook writing, which is floating and relaxed. This linking to the main protagonists, the two main protagonists, the male and the female, seen in the poster, yet also contrasting to the storm that is behind them. Therefore, I think it's used as a way of linking the two together and showing that the two together are main features of the film. Also, the use of the matching hair colour of the two main protagonists seen in the poster of the male and female brings the two closer and helps to further the love between them and distinguish the romantic comedy genre that the film suggests. And finally, the next poster you can see for The Ring, which is a horror thriller genre of film, is easily expressed through the use of the isolated dark forest that ignites fear within the audience that is in the main centre of the picture. This is helped by the dis distressed expression of the female that is reflected in the title of the film, The Ring. Her blonde hair and pretty face also add to the fear element as she appears therefore more vulnerable due to her exterior. The fuzzy exterior to the poster links to the idea of perhaps the film being linked to a film, therefore bringing the two together. The misted area around the title suggests the idea of a spiritual and ghost-like element to the film, perhaps showing that also a ghost is a main feature of the film. 
I noticeably saw that there was no main protagonist within the film, but yet the title, The Ring, takes over the most centre of the film and shows that perhaps this is the main feature of the film, showing that this there is no main protagonist, yet The Ring plays the boldest part within the film, which adds to the thrill and horror of it all.